My name is Ravi Kumarty, student professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SVAT, Bangalore. So today I am here to explain the how to solve pentagonal pyramid problems, especially in that slant hedge and slant triangle phase problem. So as I said in the previous pro previous uh, uh, you know, video, so slant hedge means you have to you know it's a corner condition. Slant triangle phase means it is a edge condition okay here 100 percent you will make a mistake that uh, here please understand that resting position towards your right hand side okay corner means the corner should be right hand side edge means edge should be right hand side okay we'll see uh, next yeah so this problem you can see the uh, pentagonal pyramid 25 mm sides of base 50 mm axis length rest on hp on one of its slant edge okay slant edge please you have to remember slant edge means it is a corner condition so draw the projection of the pyramid draw the projection of the pyramid when axis appears to be vp see axis appear appear word present means what you have to understand appear word present means it is a without locus problem okay it means you have it is a normal problem it's it's a without locus means you need not to find out the beta angle okay so yeah uh, we'll see the first position yeah corner condition as already said corner towards your right hand side yeah corner towards your right hand side okay if looking from top of an object all diagonal lines are visible so all diagonal lines are visible yeah so the naming is done a b c d e f e okay because only five sides so a b c d e next this is the top view of an object okay so you if you looking from front of an object this pyramid look like a triangle how so we draw projection line upward okay see from the center line means axis line okay you have to take height is 50 mm okay this height is 50 mm then you have to draw project you know complete the pro profile so this is a if you looking from front of an object the pentagonal pyramid look like triangle okay so do the naming yeah naming is as usual same see if you looking from bottom of an object see this b is visible but a is invisible again c is visible e is invisible so d is visible as usual okay see the naming is done okay so as here they given a slant edge so i you have to satisfy whether you placed a slant edge or slant triangle face so which is a slant edge here you can observe here see uh, this point d okay d to d dash to o dash means slant edge edge contain only two points so this is the slant edge okay this slant edge has to be placed it on x y line okay yeah slant edge so x y line you have placed a slant edge so the naming is copied same okay so what next you have to draw projection line okay so projection line you have to join okay now yeah if you're looking from top of an object this complete face is visible okay it means this pentagonal complete face is visible so we have to draw with the help of visible line okay next which are the invisible and which are the visible edges okay that we have to find out first you have to join all the outer edges okay out outer edges are visible means See this A to O and C to O is visible. A to O and B to O is also visible, but D to O is D to O is means this D to O is invisible. See that is what we are represent in the red line. Okay, so D to O is only invisible. Okay, but you can ask a doubt that sir C to O is also away from the observer, but it is outer edge. Okay, outer edge is visible and E to O is visible. E to O is also outer edge we have to write invisible line okay so this is the second position okay what is the third position third position is axis appears to be vp at 45 degree means you have to take a 45 degree line you take this axis and you can incline here yeah it is inclined clear so what next you have to draw the projection line upward okay so projection line upward yeah see if you're looking from bottom of an object this complete bottom face pentagonal face is completely visible so we have to draw pentagonal face with the help of visible line yes completed next is what we have to find out which are the invisible and which are the visible edges as we know that which are the away from the observer so those called as a invisible and outer edges are called as a visible see which are the outer edge you can observe d to o sorry this b to o is outer edge and D to O is outer edge and C to O is a visible but E and A are invisible you can observe okay E and A are invisible E to O is invisible A to O is invisible okay so this completes the first problem okay here what the given slant edge but appear is present 
appear is absent means it's a with a with locus if appear word is present in the problem it is a without locus okay we'll see next problem so next problem it contain a appear word is absent but the same slantage okay we'll see yeah so second problem same pentagonal pyramid 25 mm sides of base 50 mm axis length rest on hp on one of its slantage so slantage means corner condition similar problem okay so similar last problem but the word appear is absent in the problem if the word appear absent in the problem you understood that it is a with locus okay you have to find out the beta angle okay how to find out beta as you know that you have to find you have to uh, take a true length draw a locus line take apparent length cut an arc on locus line extend that to a xy line so you'll get the beta angle okay that is what we have to do here yeah so first and second position is same so no need to spend much time on that okay see uh, first position means it's a top view all diagonal lines are visible naming is done next front view axis is 50 okay we have joined next is what uh, the naming is done as usual uh, we said in the previous problem a dash is visible sorry invisible and b dash is visible because if you're looking from bottom of an object b is visible a is invisible similarly c is visible and e is invisible next this is a slantage we have to place this on x y line okay you can place on x y line done next we have to do the naming yeah draw projection line downward next if you're looking from top of an object this complete face is visible so we have to draw with the help of visible line next what are the outer edges we have to find out what are the outer edges see outer edges is e to o and c to o and a to o and b to o these are the visible edges okay and the d to o is a invisible okay so d to o is a invisible this complete the second position so for third position we have to find out the beta angle means locus okay so first we have to take 45 degree inclination line then take a true length this is a true length okay so true length so draw true length then draw locus line okay now so next use the apparent length this is apparent length o to o1 is apparent length see from this center okay we have to draw arc on a locus line then we have to extend this intersection point to a center point next after that you have to extend to a xy line then you have to find out the beta angle okay this is done okay so what next see this axis you have to place it on inclination with uh, b inclination with vp you can place here okay it's a placed okay what next we have to extend the xy and projection line upward okay yeah here if you're looking from bottom of an object this complete bottom face is visible so x pentagonal is completely visible next is we have to find out which are the visible and invisible edges yeah so which are the away from the observer e and i are the away from the observer so those two are invisible edges that's it okay done but the only thing is you have to find out the beta so that is the difference between previous problem and this problem okay so this is about your pentagonal pyramid in that pentagonal pyramid it's a slant edge problems okay so we'll see what are the slant triangle phase so slant triangle phase means you have to tell me whether it's a corner or edge condition it is a edge condition okay yeah so this is a problem pentagonal pyramid 25 mm sides of base 50 mm axis length rest on hp and one of its slant triangle phase drop projection of the pyramid when axis appears to be vp at 45 degree so it is a slant triangle phase problem means it is a edge condition problem along in that again it is a without locus problem because appear word is present in the problem appear word is present in the problem so edge condition means it's towards your right hand side yeah edge condition it's towards your right hand side so all uh, if you're looking from top of an object diagonal lines are visible yes it's done okay next drop projection line upward next from the center you have to take a height is 50 yeah height is 50 next you have to complete it okay then do the naming so the naming is if you're looking from bottom of an object e is visible but b is invisible similarly d is visible c is invisible so this is what the naming is for pentagonal pyramid especially in slant triangle phase so this is com this complete the first position you can see slant triangle phase is already said the triangle consists of three points okay so we have to identify whether three points are there or not you can see c and d two and o so there are three points are there on the hedge condition 
okay this uh, triangle face okay this triangle face should be placed it on x y line yeah slant face is placed it on x y line name the name it then draw projection line downward okay what next yeah if you looking from uh, bottom of an, top of an object this complete triangle so square sorry pentagonal face is completely visible so completely visible next if you looking from top of an object this c and d dash to o is invisible these two are invisible edges okay yeah you can see these two are invisible edges rest all others are visible edges okay what next you have to take 45 degree inclined to be p 45 degree then you have to take this axis and you can place it on x y line that's it okay you need not to find out any beta angle here because not required okay so what next you have to draw projection line upward okay next if you looking from bottom of an object this complete pentagonal is visible so we have to draw pentagonal okay next here yeah which are the invisible only b to o is invisible edges because rest all other are visible okay yeah see here b to o is invisible clear actually a to o is also invisible okay a to o is also invisible but it is you know it, it is overlapping with the e to o so that's why it's not visible properly okay b to o and a to o both are invisible edges okay so this complete the uh, you know without locus problem especially in slant triangle face okay what about with locus problem let's see so this is a with locus means in this problem a pretty similar problem but the word appear is not there in the problem if what word appear is absent it understood that it is a with locus problem okay you have to find out the beta angle so first and second position is same similar to previous problem okay h condition slant triangle face means it understood that it is a h condition yeah h condition diagonal lines are visible okay you have to draw projection line upward next you have from the axis you have to take a 50 okay then join all the end points so you'll get the triangle okay the naming is done so next you have to take a slant triangle face so this is a slant triangle face you have to place it on xy line yeah it is placed see this place next the naming will be copied same okay so what is the next thing you have to draw projection line downward okay so projection line downward next if you looking from top of an object okay if you looking from top of an object the pentagonal face is completely visible so we have to draw with the help of visible line next is which are the visible and which are the invisible edges yeah see you can observe if looking from top of an object c to o and d to o these two edges are invisible okay or other other three edges are visible edges okay we'll see see these two edges are visible invisible so we have to represent in red lines okay other edges are visible yeah it since it is a locus problem so we have to find out true length and apparent length see as already said that true length will be get it from the first position apparent length will get it from the second position so true length is 50 so we have to take 50 okay draw locus line okay next is apparent length is from the second position okay so o to o one is apparent length so we have to find out apparent length okay after that see from this point we have to cut an arc on a locus line okay so then you'll get intersection point here from this intersection point to this center point we have to draw line then we need to extend this to a xy line if we extend then you can find out the beta angle okay so beta angle is got it next you have to pl place this axis is on this inclined to vp yeah placed naming is done next is what you have to extend the projection line upward projection line see projection line is done next if you looking from bottom of an object this bottom face is completely visible so we have to draw with the help of visible line okay so yes bottom line is you know so a triangle face is so pentagonal face is completely visible so next is what we have to find out identify whether which one is edge visible and invisible yes you can as already said that e you know a and b are invisible edges okay other are visible edges see a to o and b to o are invisible edges others are visible edges okay see this is this complete the uh, uh, locus problem in pentagonal pyramid so here what do you want to identify see uh, in previous problem we have done square pyramid so in the square pyramid we have a problem that uh, which slant edge or which slant triangle face we have to place it on xy line because 
so corner means this side also will get one corner and this side also will get corner edge means the both the sides will get edge but only in a you know in pentagonal problem you will not get such uh, confusion because edge is edge corner is corner okay means if if you place corner right hand side you'll get edge in a left hand side okay so thank you